Hey everybody, Chef Ted Reeder, Godfather of the Grill. Welcome to my backyard. It's a beautiful winter day. Can't complain about the cold. We're gonna make one of my favorite recipes and it's called Slashing Grill Chicken Drumsticks. It's a recipe that comes out of my gastro grilling cookbook. You know, nobody ever enters my house a normal fucking way. Ted, they come the, over the fence. The back gate was closed. Nobody would let me in. And you know something? Your yard needs some work. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome. All right, shall we get to cooking? Oh, yeah! First things first, we're making slashing grilled chicken drumsticks. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not giving you a knife because I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. Well, that works. some damage with that bad boy. So, you're gonna Any take boy. it, pull down the skin just a little bit like that, make it nice and tight, and then you're gonna slice one, two, three across the top, and now you flip it over, and you slash twice on the bottom, all right, put them back in the bowl. No, we don't play with the John food. John Bottom. You see, you just threw it on the ground. Hey. Respect the food. The animal has died so that you can feed yourself. There. So Nothing wrong with that. This one's your piece. We want to put a little bit of a binder. Regular old ranch dressing. Whatever kind of ranch dressing you want to use. Craft. That's like it. Craft. When you're grilling this, it's always hard to tell when a chicken drumstick is done. So this way, by slashing them, one, you get all the flavor going in, and two, you get when it's cooked, you can see the bone. We're using my bone dust barbecue seasoning rub. We're set at 350 degrees. I don't see much cooking. Why is there no smoke coming out? Because Maybe it's not hot enough. No, it's right where I want it to be. You, Maybe, the one I, thing is, whatever. That if you go too hot, you're gonna overcook the chicken on the outside. You're gonna burn the skin, and then the inside isn't gonna be done. So we're gonna get enough smoke coming off of our, our charcoal. But if you want to add some other flavor, the oh, rosemary. got the rosemary, Ted. That's all you need to do. All right. Let's get the picture. I always like put, a good He's going to probably put it on the Facebook, right? You know, you can get it on pin interest, too. Yeah. Close it. Watch our temp. Crack a beer. Have um, a shot. You're in a wine club? Every month, they send me 12 bottles of wine. You know, if but you, you were... But you know that Gretzky wine was shit. <laughs> Don't buy it. <laughs> anyway, Ted, while we're waiting, another shot. Yes, but I've got something special. We're gonna do a shot of something special. Oh. I was rummaging through my cold cellar and I came across this uh, battle, <laughs> battle, it's a battle some days, this bottle of uh, Tabasco and it was their 150th anniversary. Stop talking, let's get her in. Hang on. Hang on. And you get the bigger, I'm apparently getting the baby spoon. Now how old is Tabasco? Well, I've had that bottle at least two or three years. That was very good. My lips, my mouth, it's sizzling beautifully. I'm fucking having a happy good time, man. Check in on our chicken, okay? Don't stick your face in it. Right. I've open. had my eyebrows burnt off, so less I saw than that. point. Hilarious. You were there, and you didn't tell me not to burn. Thank you, not very much. Take the rosemary out. Don't throw it away. Oh, yeah. Don't throw it away. Start to rotate our You're chicken. doing the rotisseration thing now. Rosemary back. Maybe put the spice on for you. Okay. Um, Just over, but hurry up because the flames are coming up and I don't want to burn the chicken. Go reverse, back and forth. I do 360, counterclockwise, then I go clockwise. I go clockwise, and then I go counterclockwise. Okay, I'm closing the door now. That's Actually, that was backwards. We're going to take some of my bone dust barbecue seasoning rub. That one is <laughs> real good. Maple syrup. That's from my place. I made that. Go. The Gong Show barbecue sauce. Smoke show. Put a half a cup. A barbecue sauce in there. Maybe stir it around, Ted. Stop giving me fucking instructions. I've been doing this my entire <laughs> life, you crazy fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck. Let me deal with that. Watch your hands. <laughs> Burnt my hand. So we're gonna take a little bit of green onion, okay? So the sauce is hot. All right. Just there. Take the chicken. This looks amazing. Just so everybody watching this video knows. And you can see that it's not pink. All right, and it's gray in color, and that's what you're looking for. All right, the slashes also give you nooks and crannies, and that binder of the ranch dressing and the spice gives you these flavor hits, okay? That's an obviousity, if there's a word. Man. But this is the part that I like for the kids. Oh, the so, Miss Vicky. The Miss Vicky's. Um, my favorite is the sweet and spicy ketchup flavor, but if you happen to notice on here, I have the word no, and um, that's to my kids because if I left this in the kitchen, it would be gone. I'm not sponsored by Miss Vicky's, but this chip's mighty fucking tasty. Let 
me try one of these. Ted, can I try one? Hang on a second there. Damn tasty chicken. I like the crispy outside. That mm -hmm. worked for me. It takes about 45 minutes on the grill. Anyway, Chris and I, Ted's backyard, that's my place. I'm Chef Ted Reeder, Godfather of the Grill. Stick around for another tasty recipe coming to you soon. Cheers. And I'm Chris. You have a nice day and God bless. We don't say so much, though. Ted, you didn't fuck this up. No, I didn't fuck this up.